fucked it up! Nobody was looking forward to this game more than I. I really, really wanted it to be good. I was among the first to cry out at its apparent cancelization. Please, please don't cancel Aliens Colonial Marines. Please, Gearbox, 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 listen to me. Just calm down, calm down, listen to me, okay? Don't let it be game over for this game. <laughs> over, man, no! I ignored some of my friends who had their own concerns. You get separated from your group, and it's chaos! Everywhere! Aliens! Just everywhere! And you have to fight them off! Now, Joe, Joe, calm down, man. I really do think this game might suck. So, after many years of waiting, the game is finally here. And this is gonna break my heart. Aliens Colonial Marines is a colossal fucking disappointment! Borderline insulting to any fan of the franchise! My first impression of this game was terrible. Do not, I repeat, do not start your experience by playing this game's first mission on soldier difficulty level alone. It's awful. The aliens move so stiff and sluggish, completely out in the open, just charging your position with no intelligence. <laughs> Their AI is downright inept. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by wire. Baby, my heart's on fire. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me. Then you'll be left alone. Oh, baby, telephone and tell me I'm your own. Characters do the stupidest things, like explode a grenade while a chestburster rips through their ribcage because, I don't know, fuck it! He wanted to kill his fellow marines too since he was gonna die? Or, or maybe it was to trigger the trailer cutscene? Either way, it's still contrived and nonsensical. It kills me, because I am a huge fan of the license. I'd be the first one up here screaming the game's praise from a mountaintop, the first one to come to its defense. But I can't. And in retrospect, I think I was way too forgiving of ABP 2010 when it came out. And while that game isn't as bad as some say, it probably deserved more like a six, I let my excitement get the better of me back then. But then comes a game like Colonial Marines that slaps me in the face, making me realize just because you have the license doesn't mean that fans should forgive some of the asinine choices here. Lurker! Don't you think I'm on you! Wait, so that's a lurker? He just pulled it out. What the? Yeah, he said lurker. Oh, human no lurker. way. He knows. <laughs> What type that is? In the story, you play as a new marine named Winter, whose platoon is sent out to investigate a distress signal sent from Higgs. You explore the Sulaco. You return to LV-426. It's not destroyed for some reason, which, which is totally cool with me, because I finally get to visit there like I've always wanted. And obviously, you get to battle the Xenomorphs once again. The story presented here is actually canon. It's the Fox approved sequel to the James Cameron Aliens. And I wish to God it wasn't. Sure, there's tons of fan service referring to the original Bishop's severed legs, the sentry guns, you even discover Hudson's ultimate fate. But these Marines you are with are barely fleshed out. There is no reason to care at all about any of them, even when at points you're clearly meant to. Are you sure you're okay? It was already dead, O'Neill. I'm fine. Alright, I pulled it off when I woke up, so nothing's gonna happen to me. It's just good to see some familiar faces. 
Try to describe any of the Marines' personalities in the game. You can't. Basically, there's three guys, two girls, and Bishop. One Marine in particular, O'Neill, is so unlikable he's downright annoying as hell. Sure you okay? O'Neill, I'm fine. Quit being such a little bitch. He's the one guy you're supposed to like too, but you can't because of his god-awful AI. Come on, O'Neill, you got the smart gun. Shoot something with it. <laughs> he tags along with you most of the entire game and never ceases to amaze. O'Neill, you piece of shit. He's not doing jack. I know, he's awful. Oh, oh, give, oh, give us the smart gun, damn it. He gets in the way, runs way ahead of you in levels for no reason, stares at walls, barely fires at enemies, and when he finally does, it seems like a smart gun is firing BB pellets. It makes playing without friends scarier than any part in the game. Oh. I thought he was down, he started going in the animation where he stumbled. And what the nope. fuck, O'Neal? Get the fuck out of the way! God damn it, O'Neal! You, you douche! Get the fuck out of the way, O'Neal! You just killed him, you piece of shit. And now he leaves! Fuck you, O'Neal! You're always in the way and you don't do shit! Oh. But here's the thing that kills it for me. By the second level, after the tutorial, you were fighting humans with guns! Sir? We have hostiles firing on us! This is Rayo 6 5, returning fire! Remember your rules are the enemy's closest humans down there! They're fucking shooting at us, sir! Captain! We are under attack by human forces in the control room! What the hell is happening out there? Don't know, sir. Freaking humans! Instead of, you know, the fucking aliens? There goes any build-up for, or terror for the Xenos, now it's just wailing yutani mercenaries. You'll be battling the corporation for revenge right out of the gate throughout the entire game. Okay, come on, keep it together. Fuck! Fuck! Come on! Ah! Ah! Where are you? Ah! Yeah. Thank you! Ah! Ah! What the fuck are you doing here? I'm the corporation, I'm the bad guy! What need you? Where are the aliens? They're over there somewhere! Fuck you! Ah. The fuck? The hell did I get all dressed up for? Fuck! Hey, Joe, you don't like the story? It's, you know, Leland Yutani, the corporation! You hate corporations! corporation angle. I do. It makes some sense. And honestly, if they didn't focus so much on you fighting them the entire whole time, it might have been a good angle. Like if you had them show up to fuck with shit and try to clean up control just as you've been pushed up against the wall, your last breath, and you've got nothing left, and the aliens are just on top of you while you were alone for a while. You know, and they, like, inadvertently save you while also becoming this new men menace. But not right off the bat. Come on, guys! It's like there was zero respect for the Xenomorphs here! In Aliens! I think that Aliens fans, people who really love this franchise, are going to be really happy with the way in which we brought this forward. It's got a very strong story, it's got great action, it's got an interesting enemy. Fans should be expecting to be scared, they should be expecting to be excited. It's different, we're, we're approaching the first person shooter differently, we're, we're even approaching how we have a main character talk within first person in a totally new way that I don't think anyone's done before. This is not the engaging and interesting story extension that we were promised. The game has a twist too. And it, it's a surprise it thinks is really good. Apparently, a marine from the original Aliens movie has survived. What? Oh? You can't be serious. Oh, I'm serious. And when he's revealed, it causes more, wait, what? Questions than it's good for. Well, who is it? Um... Uh... 
Hudson? I I don't I'm trying to think of characters we didn't like definitely see die. Uh Apone? Nope. And we are given a single sentence, a hand wave explanation. Hey, I'm here. Why? That's why. Okay, I've gotta know, just tell me. Okay. It's actually Bullshit! Yeah! Bullshit! Yeah! No! No, cut bullshit! So when we sat down to design the characters in Aliens Chromarines, we wanted to make new and interesting characters and not just rip off the old ones. The final thing I'll say about the story is the ending. That ending. The last boss battle is hardly a battle at all. Maybe lasting me all of two fucking minutes. Literally, you kill eight soldier aliens, hit a few buttons, cutscene, done! That's all the creativity in this boss that you guys bothered with? It's also got a deus ex machina to explain everything that we fought for was some for something worthwhile. It wasn't. I don't know if they're trying to sequel bait here, but this was hardly a satisfying ending. We got everything. Six years in development for this? Hell, they don't even go to collect the other marines left, you know, stranded on the planet? So much for never leaving a marine behind. BULLSHIT! <sighs> That's not to say that it's all bad. <clears throat> Occasionally, the game does something that feels more like an alien's experience. The raven portion takes away your guns, it, and it mixes running from a threat that you cannot defeat. Come on, come on, wimpy man, pull! pull. I can hear it. Oh I, shit! I, Here he I, comes. I Turn, go, get the. <laughs> oh my god. Run, run! I guarantee. I, I doubt it's not gonna drop down here with nah, us. No, he's too big. Oh, there he is. And it has the essential Xeno close encounters in a very thematic, well-done sewer level. It's easily the best thing in the game. It shows the flashes of brilliance that the rest of the game needed. These weird husks are all littered about and they. They turn out to be a new alien type that are blind and they only sense movement. It was the one time that it got my heart going as if you move too much, they come right at you like straight in your face. And you have to stay perfectly still. Super cool if they put one right in front of you and, and you had to do... Oh, I'm gone. Don't move! Oh, you're fucked. Oh my god. Just stay still. I am. Stay still, Sedge. I am. Stay still. I am. I am. I am. Shh, shh. He doesn't notice. <laughs> oh my god. I'm moving, I'm moving my head. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I'll be right back. I gotta go change my underwear. That's aliens. Ha! Ah, Joe, Joe, you made I'm a lot down. of noise. I'm you down. I'm down. I'm down. I crouch down. And <laughs> what are they all around you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I pissed them off. <laughs> they all went to you. They're circling me. They're yeah. circling me. <laughs> all right, they're they're calmed down. They've calmed down. The mer the game does really nail its atmosphere and its authenticity. Environments are absolutely stunning, beautiful. The level domes, you know, the backgrounds, they're so well done. They had me saying, "Ooh, ooh oh, sh ah," often. 
and there's a good amount of detail in the level themselves aside from a, a very few oddly placed low textures and even an untextured black hole or two where the aliens come out. Oh wow, that is really bad. I didn't notice this one. That is really yeah, bad. That's real bad. I don't know why they didn't bother to put just a simple texture in. Yeah. Uh, sound design is also solid, utilizing ample sound samples and clips from the movies. It sounds perfect, uh, except for a little bit of uh, the cycling on the alien's pulse rival in the open. Um, the music is perfect, it, the, with dramatic flourishes hitting just the right moments. One of the few things, the new few things, the weapons, the customization options allows you to level up and personalize your weapons as you've never been able to before, uh, which can then carry over into multiplayer. Yeah. And even more impressive is how they managed to introduce a few new weapons for the Marines. A very tricky thing to do, but these new weapons look great and they fit right into the universe as if they've always been an option in the Colonial Marine arsenal. We got tactical smart missiles, base plasma pulse rifles, RPGs, we got sonic electronic ball breakers. <laughs> However, there's not much reason to use your motion tracker other than to role play. Uh, the game needed aliens that aren't just dumb missiles. It actually needed like an alien bug hunt level where one stalks you and is very quick. You never know where it's gonna come from unless one of your guys has the tracker out. It needed a level like that. It doesn't have one. The player models look dated in the cutscenes, but they get the job done. It's not exactly a triple A budget and resources here, uh, but this is on the PC. The Xbox is a totally different story. There's screen tearing, there's multiple bits of frame rate loss, and uglier textures. If you can, seek out and get the PC version, it's cheaper too. As far as gameplay goes, the major issue with this game is that it's far too fucking easy! Dif Soldier difficulty level provides zero challenges and just serves to highlight the enemy's numerous issues with both the AI and your marine AI. You, you could completely run through entire levels in less than five minutes, ignoring aliens along the way, never firing a shot and still win. On hardened difficulty level, you must, absolutely must play with the ultimate badass difficulty. And even then, it's really not all that hard up until the last few missions. And with the upgrades that you unlock, Along the way, you basically just breeze through the enemies on further playthroughs. And there's no game plus or super ultimate get away from her you bitch mode or anything like that. So the replayability is next to nil in this just very scripted linear corridor shooter. There are collectibles though, throwaway dog tags, uh, more interesting audio logs with some easter egg stuff about Newt's parents and that kind of shit. But by far the best collectibles, ones that I actually care about a ton, are in ser and was searching like a rabid dog for the legendary weapons from the film. I have never wanted to find uh, collectibles more than shit like Hicks's famous shotgun, Hudson's pulse rifle, and Vasquez's legendary smart gun, complete with movie accurate markings. Yeah, there it is. Where? Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh yeah! Oh, hell yeah, it's got a bandana and everything. Adios! Oh, man, stop for a second. Come back over here in the light. I'm trying to move All because right. we got aliens. Oh, hell yeah. We got the bandana. Oh, shit. Finally, one of the best parts of the game, touted as a core feature, was supposed to be the fact that you can play with up to three of your buddies in full co-op, drop in, drop out. And you can do that. There's even two players split screen. However, as for Marines, you all feel exactly the same. If you were expecting an actual dynamic class or a role play mechanic 
like I was, it's not here. I was thinking it'd be cool, like you'd have like a guy that focuses on being a smart gunner, someone who always keeps tabs on the motion tracker, another who loves the shotgun, and another who worships, like me, the tried and true pulse rifle. But you never feel like a unit, ever. You just feel like four gunners. In, in fact, most this may be the most unforgivable thing in the game for marine lovers. You get to use the smart gun for maybe a total of 10 minutes in the entire game. What the fuck? I love the smart gun. That smart gun, that big thing. What's been fun about that is in video game form, now you can see what it's like to actually use it. And we've created a, you know, the user interface. And there's a little eyepiece that comes down. What is, what's on that eyepiece? We never saw that in the films. This is just unbelievable in an Aliens game. The smart gun is iconic as the pulse rifle. It's lazy as fuck. Every Aliens and AVP game has had one up until now. What, they couldn't find a way to balance it in the game mechanics? Maybe because the aliens are a lot slower here than when they've been a lot faster in the past. I don't know. Also, there's not one thing specifically designed or highlighting the fact that you're playing with four buddies. No puzzles, no co-op objectives. The only time I was reminded that I'm working together with someone sure. is when they get killed and they fall to the ground in a last stand mechanic. They can still fire, but they aren't able to uh, get up, even if they killed someone like you can't, like last stand in Borderlands 2. Uh, one of your partners has to come get you in time to heal you up before the timer's up. The E3 2000 demo is completely gone. It's not even in the game at all. And so you're gonna see what, what the game actually looks like, not just screenshots, but the actual gameplay. So you never get to wield the flamethrower equipped power loader that I was so looking forward to. Nope! Nice. No more of this! Focus, look at me! How many fingers am I holding up? He's fine. Rhino 2-1, this is Rhino Actual. What the hell just happened down there? That bit has more marine characterization than we have now. can climb on the ceilings and the walls. It's all driven by sophisticated artificial intelligence. Bullshit! Look, to, to prove my point further, I want to show you guys something. Look at this. You can see here, the game has 11 levels total. More like 10 with a boss battle. Okay, this took me and a friend 7 hours to complete on ultimate badass mode. It's 5 or 6 hours on easier difficulty levels, probably even faster. Now, not counting the tutorial or the crap boss battle, there is a total of 3 alien focused levels! 3! In Aliens Colonial Marines! Most of the focus is battling humans. Three complete levels devoted to that. With three more that has a mix of humans and aliens battling you and each other. Every time it tries to go into more firefights with in the human direction, it feels like a bad attempt to appease the people that play Call of Duty games. And that should never be in my Aliens game, period. Who approved this? Bullshit! Bullshit! Now, I devoted the whole release day just to playing all the multiplayer modes, hoping that somewhere it could make up for the disappointing single player campaign. And, luckily, it could certainly be pretty exhilarating at times. Got one! <laughs> <laughs> I a couple of 
double kill! Oh, 10 seconds, Marines, finish the job! Did you get an execution? Oh, oh I missed you! Bad damn it! <laughs> ah, still at the That's top, motherfuckers! Hmm. <laughs> It's easily the best part of this game. But, cons all considered, it cannot save the overall package. However, without AI to worry about, things work as they're designed to. The motion tracker, in particular, becomes the Marine's best friend. It is vital in multiplayer that Marines stick together in order to survive and stay alive, as the aliens here are pretty powerful. Allow them to close the distance and you're done which makes last man standing situations in escape or survive pretty desperate affairs. Come on you fuckers! You want some? Get some! Get some! Get some! Come on! Do a little... Yeah, you like that? You like that? Die! Die! Get away from me, you bitches! Get... Die! Fuck! Shit! Both sides can spawn power-ups with marines getting flamethrowers, sentries, and smart guns, while the aliens can give birth to the butthurt type Xenos. Press E to awaken the boiler. This way. Boiler awakened. Time for the boiler. And I can explode up on these fools. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> 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 that was fucking awesome. I was keeping him fucking ass in that little corner. Or Crusher, the living tank. They're picking us apart! Yeah. It is just oh so satisfying too in multiplayer to land some of the gruesome fatalities gotcha. on your rivals. And I've always enjoyed the asymmetrical gameplay that Aliens games have been known for. And while this might not be the best version of it, it has its own merits. You'll level up as you play, and there are a lot of new abilities and attacks as an alien to unlock. This is something new and unique, along with lots of skins and customization for both sides. You can create some really beastly looking xenomorphs, Kenner style. Only four multiplayer modes ship with the game though, so there's not really a lot to go on here and it will likely only take you about a day to unlock and see everything. So I don't see the multiplayer lasting us very long, especially without dedicated servers and the ability to launch with fewer than the full amount. That is sure to become a problem later in this game's life cycle. I'm also sad to report HUGE WASTED POTENTIAL IN SUCH VANILLA MODES! There's no innovation here. There's no alien life cycle mode with, you know, face huggers or chest bursters. There's no red versus black alien mode. That would be freaking cool. It, it was just a wasted opportunity. Now there's, you know, uh, the unique modes pertain to the Marines trying to escape, but we would have liked to have seen uh, something very impressive or unique here in these types of modes. The mentality was all wrong. The game could have been made immediately better by improving its AI <clears throat> or getting rid of the NPC companion marines altogether. Putting you alone more often. More, more of its excellent lighting system. Putting less focus on battling humans. The intentions may have been good. The hard, honest work to make it feel authentic and, and aliens is all there, but the focus is completely in the wrong areas. It does nothing to convince you if you're not already a fan of Aliens. I hope someone in the future sees the potential for survival horror in the Aliens franchise with some action elements. Imagine like Amnesia mixed with Aliens. Holy shit. That would be a game everybody would be talking about. The more I think about it, the more angry I get, so I better stop here. The final verdict for Aliens Colonial Marines is a 4 out of 10! It would have been bad enough with its misguided focus, its limp storyline, and borderline insulting attempts to retcon and fix the lore, when combined with horrendous AI, 
and a half-assed ending, not even the handful of fun multiplayer modes and customization options can save this overall package. If you ever wanted revenge on Waylon Yutani, this is your game. If you want a good Aliens game, play any of the AVP series, even the 2010 version. I did a bit of research too. Many different companies were brought in to work on this game during its six year development cycle. TimeGate Studios was said to have worked on it just as much as Gearbox on single player elements. Nerve software for multiplayer stuff? Why? If this was your dream project, why delegate and outsource so much work? We're Aliens fans, and you know we, we've taken the risk to tell the story of what, what happens next. These aliens are gnarly, like Colonial Marines are badasses. They can handle anything, right? Except for this. I want to f know who sabotaged this game's development. All these contributors may have done more harm than good without one dedicated focused vision on what the aliens experience should be about. There is a season pass already on sale for 30 bucks. It includes four DLC add-ons throughout 2013, both multiplayer and single player. But they don't tell you exactly what the full list includes. All we're told is the first one, Bug Hunt, which is literally just a, a multiplayer horde mode. Not exactly something that I would be trying to use to tantalize people into buying it. Hopefully they will bring more alien focused levels and some more innovative modes to the multiplayer. And I was clued in by a source that, uh, that they're still in production and they'll focus more on the Xenos. So at least I'm hopeful for what's to come. But until then, I'll see you guys on the next... On the next Angry Joe Show. Bullshit! <laughs> Bullshit! Now you know how it feels, Angry Joe! You know what the bullshit of betrayal feels like as it rains down on your head! And it smells! And it's fucking- I hate it! It is- ah.